So here's a quick video on how to do three-dimensional shapes. So I'm going to give you a shape a lot like this, and I think we're all starting with a cube. This is a cube net. It's got our base and our four sides, and then our top folds over. Okay? Um, our job is to learn how to cut this out so that we can make a cube and have it look nice. And I'm going to do a lot of fast forwards for you so you don't have to put up with it. First thing I'm going to do is if I'm going to cut her out, out around the outside. Don't cut off these tabs. You need them. So just cut off all the way around the outside. All right. Once you have all of your parts cut out, we're going to score it. Now, scoring means we're going to scratch it, but we're going to scratch it on purpose. And what that does, you see how hard it is? it's going to be to fold this little guy over to be exactly a straight line. Scoring where it's going to help us in making sure that that line is straight. And for this, you need a ruler. So you're going to take a ruler, and you're going to hold it along all of the lines that you want to fold. And you're going to, with an open pair of scissors, very carefully, don't grab it like this, because, you know, these are sharp and they'll cut you. Hold it like a grown-up, and you're going to scratch along that line. And now, that line, check that out, folds really nicely. And I'm folding in so that all of this weirdness is on the inside of my box. I want this to be the outside of my box. So you're going to fold all of these in. So I'm going to score all of these. And I will fast forward so you don't have to endure it. But have a look at what it's like. So now that I'm done scoring, I can fold them all over so that I can start to see what shape my cube is going to make. You can see how it's going to very nicely make a little cube shape. Now all of these tabs need to get glued underneath. It looks better if you can glue them underneath. And by underneath, I mean you're going to put them on the inside of your box, not on the outside of your box. Does that make sense? So we're going to put just a little bit of glue, not a kindergarten amount of glue, but a little bit of glue along the edge. And guess what? We're going to do this alphabetically because if you start with A, it will actually, A and B, it will actually get put together the easiest. Unfortunately, part of the trick to gluing things in the classroom is finding a glue that got put away properly. You want to find a glue that somebody actually closed at the end of last period. Because that way, all the stuff in here didn't dry up and is now clogging. Unfortunately, that's a very difficult thing to find in this classroom because apparently nobody knows how to do that. So I'm going to start with A. And I'm going to put just a tiny bit of glue, just a tiny bit of glue. So it covers it, but it's not caked on there because um, you want to wait until the glue is dry. And if you put too much on, then you spend forever holding on to it. Now I'm going to hold it. And I want it sticky and I want it to hold itself. And I don't want to get too much glue on my fingers because then my fingers get sticky and then the outside gets sticky and then the outside gets dirty and the outside gets ugly and whatever. So you can hold it for just a few minutes. And if you put just a little bit of glue on, that should be tacky enough to hold on to it, at least while you're working on something else. Now you've got to be careful, but it'll work. Now I'm going to do B. And I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to wait through the whole thing. So I've got A and B done. My next jobs are C and D, and that's this side. If I do them both at the same time, I should be able to fold this side of my box over.
just like that. Now I'm going to hold this for a little bit. And if you look, now I've got to do these three left, which will close up my lid. But I don't want to do that just yet. You never want to do the last thing until you do the string. Now I want to be able to hang these. And in order to hang them, I want to put a string inside. So don't close it off until you do the string inside. So I'm going to pull out a string. And at the end of the string, I'm going to make a knot. I'm going to make a bunch of knots. I'm going to make hopefully three or four knots in the same place. So now I've got my knots, a pretty good sized knot in there, and that's going to hold on to my box. So I'm going to take my knotted string, and I'm going to stick the knot on the inside, and I'm going to have the knot come out a vertex. And I'm going to want that vertex to be close. And I'm going to seal that in my box. All right, so here. I've got some glue on all three tabs. I'm going to close up the lid. I'm going to line up the lid along the edges as best I can. And then I'm going to hold it for a while. And now I have a cube. Now the very last thing I'm going to do is make sure that my name is on my cube. Now, if you're making something that you want to hang in your room, a mobile or something, if you get two hangers that you put in the shape of an X, we can actually make a mobile that will hang from the ceiling in your bedroom. And um, I've had a lot of students do that, and they, um, they think that's a good idea. Now, the problem with not doing it is that I don't have a place to keep all of these. I mean, that's 22 hanging shapes times as many shapes as we're doing. Here is the best way for now to put your name on your stuff. I've got my name, Mrs. D, right there on a piece of tape. I'm going to fold that piece of tape over and ta-da, my name's on my box, my cube. Okay? This, now you can see I've got a little bit of glue and a little bit of glue and a little bit of glue, and you can see how clean my fingers are. Um, so beware because it's easy to make a mess. Okay? But this is how, whoops, but this is how you basically make three dimensional shapes. You cut them well, you score them well, make sure, and details count here, guys. The, the neater and the more careful you are with your lines, the neater and cooler your shape is. And the shapes get pretty complicated pretty quickly. So, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you tomorrow.